feel good, man. Feel real good. Well, I mean, I guess just looking back on the impact that, that you made, what were your overall takeaways? You know, having a couple days to look at the film. I mean, like I said, it's every day is another day to get better, you know, and I treat that game like a preseason game, and every game, I just want to continue to keep getting better. PG says right away you were jumping in and talking a lot and, and even firing him up a little bit. How comfortable did you immediately feel when you came to this team? I mean, football is football, you know. I'm, I feel like I'm a glorified leader. I don't even have a C on my chest, and I'm very passionate about this game, and I want to get the guys fired up, and I want to get the best out of everybody. How did you? get ready so quickly for that game coming prepared to play well. I mean I feel like playing 13 years I have a big part in that. I mean I I pretty much want to say I've seen all the defenses. They all had different names and just having time to a couple days to talk about it, look at it, go on the field and actually run them to, in a real game speed. I mean I, I feel like it was really good. It's only gonna get better from here. Do you feel like there's a benefit from some of this time off to heal and then come in at this, at this time to make such an impact because a lot of these guys like the week before Fletcher Cox was playing 70 snaps there is a lot of trouble with tires for guys who've been here since July. I mean yeah for me like I said I was coming off my injuries so able to get 100% you know I had time to watch football spend time with my family and at the same time still be involved because I was watching every week all right where can I go where can I end up let me check them out let me see their style of play so yeah it worked out. Can you see that you guys can just run wave after wave of defensive line? Nick Sirianni was just talking about that. How much does that help this team and keep you guys fresh? I mean, it's, it's very good. To be able to rotate one and, like I said, just playing with, practicing and playing with all these guys and playing with them live is only gets better from here, you know? No question. I mean, I, I dislike the Packers very much so, whether uh, I'm playing for the Eagles or if I'm playing for somebody else. But no, without question, I'm, I have all the desire to get after that quarterback and, and create havoc for that offense. So the thing you have to be most aware of with Aaron at the line of scrimmage, kind of pre-snap and the way he operates kind of differently than a lot of guys. Well, I think a, a big key for us is understanding that uh, if they're not substituting, he wants to get on the ball, he wants to find ways, create plays. Uh, and take free shots down the, uh, down the field so they can make big plays. Uh, if we can eliminate those mistakes and those different things, I, I think uh, it'll be a fun game and more so for on our side. Is that something that everybody kind of has to address during the week just to make sure there's no kind of things? Or there's just always an, an eye for that? Yeah, just aware not changing your game by any means, but just understanding that's part of the game, things that he looks for to, to try and take advantage of. You're coming to a team that's got 20 tur created 20 turnovers so far this year. It's been beating the league since day one. Mm -hmm. and that's that giveaway takeaway. Uh, how much does that, in your experience, does that help you know, in, the, uh, in the goals that you want to see? I mean, it's huge. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, when I went to the Super Bowl the last time and won, it was all about the, our team and defense being able to get the ball back to the offense. So a defense that can take the ball away from an, another offense and get it back to their own, it creates a lot of opportunity to score points. And then obviously I have a very high-powered offense that can score very quickly and fast. Uh, as you saw this last Sunday, it's, it's a great thing to get them the ball so they can go do, what do their thing. With you and uh, Linval being thrown in there after just a couple days, I mean, did you even kind of impress yourself with just how well you did <laughs> jumping into a new team? Do I, think? Uh, I pride myself on always being able to add value. And same thing with Linval. Uh, we both have been talking pretty much since we both got together, and like we just wanted to go out there and be able to create havoc and, and be able to add value. So that's most important uh, at the end of the day is adding value and being able to not have any drop off and more so an increase in play. When you joined the team, and then afterwards, when you look at what happened in the game, what did you learn most about the team? Uh, perseverance. Uh, I mean, there's there's team. Obviously, they were bouncing back from a tough loss, uh, and they had an understanding of how they wanted to look at getting things done. And details were addressed and focused on, and took care of business. Um, I mean, I guess I think you guys see that every Sunday, every game. I mean. We do a good job of spreading the ball around and uh, trying to marry up everything and make it look the same and, you know, just have defense on our toes because we can literally go to any player, any time and, you know, and be effective.